Newton champions at 3-1 and one on the season. Their head coach, Kelly Sheffield, now in his 10th season in Madison, 22nd overall, 510 victories and a fantastic winning percentage. And someone who he grew up with and around in Muncie, Indiana, Craig Skinner. Yes, Muncie and Ball State well represented here, the two head coaches. Skinner, of course, now in his 18th season as Kentucky's head coach. They are the five-time defending SEC champions. So the champs of the SEC, the champs of the Big Ten, the national champs from two seasons ago, and the national champs from last season. Let's go, Holly Mapeak. Let's, Let's play. Let's rumble, yeah. Great matchup. Good early season test for both programs. So we are ready to go. And getting things started will be Izzy Ashburn, one of two setters used by Wisconsin. MJ Hamill will also be in the mix. They are running a 6-2. We'll get the former center, Holly McPeak, to chime in on that as we go along. But we're ready. Starts with a service error for Wisconsin. And the first point goes to Kentucky. If you are familiar with matches played here in the venerable Memorial Coliseum, if it's warm outside, it's warm inside. There's no AC, so it is warm. Players had a abbreviated warm-up and back-to-back -back service errors to get things going here. I don't know if that has an impact, but the match between Campbell and Indiana State that preceded this one went five sets, went long. So there was a shortened warm-up. They had their full 30 minutes that they are required, but... They usually take an hour. You know, it's, it's, it's well thought out. They take a whole hour, they get lots of reps, and 30 minutes doesn't seem like enough, but here we go, everybody's on the same page. So who is going to get through those early bumps in this match will be the question, and it's a point for Wisconsin. Julia Orgel, big part of that championship team last year, Big Ten Freshman of the Year, hitting just under 300 in the early going this season. Emma Grome is the setter. Elise Getzinger, who grew up rooting for and attending Wisconsin matches, gets the kill for Kentucky. Starts with that good first contact. You've got the first contact coming from the Libra of the year, and then Emma Grome, the freshman setter of the year for Kentucky. Grome with the serve. Ashburn. Rutherford called for it. Walker gets to it. And here is Rollins with the swing. And a point for Kentucky. Rollins taking a big out of system swing for Kentucky. She's been there before, a senior. Lots of experience on the left pin for Kentucky. Rollins second on the team, averaging just under four kills a set and hitting 333. That one is going to sail long, and it's a service error for Kentucky. Their second so far of the match. Both teams very focused on putting pressure on the other side of the net with a tough serve, and you're seeing that coming out of the gates very aggressive. Big swing from Rutherford. Wisconsin was ready for it. Robinson digs it out. Rollins, another good swing. You can tell the crowd knows every block, every block touch, every defensive play where Kentucky gets the edge. You feel like that's a win when you take a look at these two teams. Wisconsin has the size advantage, and it's a big advantage over this Kentucky team up front. I agree. Just looking out on the court, Wisconsin's got the size and physicality, but Kentucky is so athletic side to side, very quick laterally at the net. Ashburn. Sets it back and a swing and a kill. That is Devin Robinson, who has really gotten off to a great start here in her junior season. First contact is so important when you're able to put your hitters in good positions, especially for Wisconsin. They've always got four hitters available because they run a 6-2 offense. That means there's two setters running the offense, always out of the back row. So here comes that second setter, MJ Hamill.
And the return of Erin Lamb did not play at the Blue Jay Invitational. She rolled an ankle against Ohio here in the previous home match, and she makes a successful return to the court. Working the inside blocker of that hand of the middle blocker. Nice, smart swing. Good serve by Bevan. Rome with the quick set, Teeler beautifully drops it in for the point. Rome able to put her hitters in really nice positions so far. And oftentimes, even defensively, they are in system. Right in Emma Grome's hands, and then Teeler with the soft touch right to the middle of the court. Five kills on seven attacks already for Kentucky. That's a 7-14 clip here in the opening minutes. Off hands, a little miscommunication. Sarah, Bevin and Rollins. Sarah Franklin on the right side pin that time. She's got a big arm, and when they're out of system or need a kill, they will go to number 13. So here is Franklin, the redshirt sophomore from Florida in her first season with the Badgers. Rutherford off hands and a point for Kentucky. Feel like Kentucky's attacking the block, the inside, the seam, and, and really successfully doing that so far. Reagan Rutherford, the MVP of the Blue Jay Invitational, averaged five kills a set in the three matches. Orgel with the kill. Smart corner kill. It didn't have to be straight down, but deep into that open corner where there's no defender. That's a nice volleyball IQ decision. Another transfer in her first season with this Wisconsin program back to serve. Caroline Crawford transferred in from Kansas. Oh, the overpass, well, that works out well for Kentucky because Emma Grome won the battle in the net. Emma Grome at five foot nine times that ball perfectly. This pass was a little bit too tight, but setters know how to do that, especially when they're in the front row. Raya Walker back to serve for the Wildcats. Well, another miscommunication for Kentucky. We've seen it a couple of times here in this first set, that time on the attack, and it's a point for Wisconsin. Yeah, Kentucky had a back row attacker and one going behind the center. Both thought the set was for them. Luckily, nobody got hurt. So Izzy Ashburn back on the set. Rollins, no doubting that attack right there for Kentucky is Adonna Rollins. She may not be very tall, but she's got a great vertical. She can sky. She is so special to get up and hit that sharp angle around that gigantic Wisconsin block. That is impressive. Craig Skinner said a couple of weeks ago about Rollins. She hasn't reached her ceiling yet. She almost touched the ceiling, it felt like, on that attack. Oh, good job by Getzinger to get there. And then a miss hit by Teeler and a point for Wisconsin. Kentucky very active defensively. Everybody moving, trying to keep that ball alive. Just an unforced error there. Sophomore from Poland ready to serve for the defending national champions. Ah, Grome has been crafty at the net so far. Well, if you're Wisconsin, you need to know the setter is front row. She's five foot nine, and you put a blocker in front of her so she can't attack that ball. Watch the blockers for Wisconsin. Their hands are up late, and Grum Emma Grome makes them pay. Now, Kentucky having trouble with the serve here in the first set, third error of this opening set. There is the talented freshman who has stepped in to be the starting libero for Wisconsin. Cool J. It's Tekken and a point for Wisconsin, and we are tied at 10 here in set one. 
Great eye work by Devin Robinson, 10 in red. She saw Rollins coming in and slowing down her approach for that shot and just swats it back into the court. Nice defensive block. Who's taking a fixture on the Turkish Junior National Team. And a violation. Now she is back serving right now for Wisconsin, Holly, and that's something she did not do before arriving here in the States in August because you don't serve overseas. Internationally, Libros do not serve, so she's really had to start from the beginning. She never even practiced it. And she's They're dialing up aces. Amazing. I mean, she's something exceptional. Kelly Sheffield, the head coach of Wisconsin, told us. But you see it right there. That's impressive after never having served to pop it like that with pace and consistency. Seven aces now on the season already. Uh, Wisconsin building some momentum right now. It's a 5-0 scoring run for the Badgers. Robinson. And a timeout's going to be called here by Craig Skinner for Kentucky. Wisconsin getting things rolling. The new server on a service run. Timeout here in Lexington. Set one here in Lexington, Wisconsin on top by three as the team step back onto the court. Our Saturday night football game presented by Capital One, Pac-12 statement game. Lincoln Riley, 10th ranked USC will take on Stanford and Palo Alto. 100th matchup all time between the two rivals, 7.30 Eastern, 4.30 Pacific on ABC and the ESPN app. And an error on the serve by Gigi as we come out of the timeout. Point for Kentucky. Good timeout by Kentucky. Icing the server, making her think about her serve, especially someone who's not that comfortable. It's like icing the kicker in football. Tumbles over the tape. We play on. And drop down. Crawford at the net with Robinson. The middle blockers for Kentucky, both of them are so good laterally. One of the stats that I thought was really interesting was Skinner telling us about the middles touching 13% of the balls. That's a volley metric stat, something the coaches look at. But defensively, touching 13% is a very high percentage and they've had a good impact so far defensively tonight. Crawford will send it back to Franklin. And a point will go to Wisconsin on the double contact. So Wisconsin on top by four. We talked at the top of the telecast about Kelly Sheffield wanting to be patient with this team because you're replacing some legendary Wisconsin players. And one thing that changes is playing a different system offensively, going from a 5-1 to a 6-2, because Sidney Hilly is no longer setting. There's a service error. So you're a former setter. Take us through. What's the difference here that Wisconsin is working through with this 6-2? So Kelly Sheffield, the head coach of Wisconsin, he wanted to use a system that best fit the personnel. Right? He said he has lots of arms, lots of offensive weapons, and he has two setters that are very good, similar. So in order to run that, you have to have a lot of arms. So that means you need to have two right side attackers, two middles, and two lefts. And you always have three hitters in the front row, and somebody can also attack out of the back row. So it gives you more offensive weapons. But on the other side, for me, I was a setter. I like to run a 5-1 like Kentucky's running. I never left the match, and I had a good feel for the rhythm of what was going on and what the other team was doing. Good rhythm there for Wisconsin. Lamb had the kill on one side. Franklin answers back. And that's the point that I wanted to get into because you don't want to leave the court. So that is a challenge here for Hamill and for Ashburn to 
put aside what they want individually and what's best for this team. And stay engaged. And, and from the bench, you can do a lot of learning, a lot of observing what the other team is doing defensively against you so you can make good decisions when you are on the court. Liz Grigorski comes on to serve for Wisconsin. Veteran part of this Wisconsin team has battled injuries throughout her career. And it's a good serve as she steps onto the court to put Wisconsin on top by four. Reagan Rutherford, number 10 in white. This is the first year she's even been in the passing lineup. So they're going to pick on her and test her out, but she's worked really hard to be in that rotation. So a timeout is called by Kentucky. They use their second and final timeout of this first set as Wisconsin is rolling. Craig Skinner trying to find a way to counter what Kelly Sheffield is doing. These two know the coaching styles. They know each other well. They share so much, including time as coaches for the Muncie Burris High School JV volleyball team back in 1990. There is so much to unpack here, Holly McKee. <laughs> there certainly so is. So much. Not, not Craig's pants. There's a lot more hair Let's in this Let's leave those picture. packed. Yes. Okay, okay, let's do that. <laughs> but lots of history together. From that area of the country, some great volleyball coaches have come from there. So when they came out this morning for serve and pass, they shared an embrace, and this was just before the match started, as Holly mentioned, we had about a 30-minute warm-up, and they came out and spent some time together, and you know, still sharing some smiles. I think Craig had to dispose of those pants because they are Wisconsin red. I don't know, like yeah, he night, probably mandatory, like, right? If, if you don't know, that yeah. was. I, I don't even know if Craig was wearing something that was in style in the 90s. It was on the fringe of style. No offense, Craig. But. No, I remember those were so cool back in the day. The weightlifters wore those pants. They were very comfortable Well, in Craig's defense. Well, Craig went and tried to play football at Michigan, yeah. so he probably wore those in the weight room and then went over and coached JV. Yeah, I got, I got what's going on there. Craig, a Ball State alum, as is Kelly Sheffield. Craig was a former Wisconsin assistant under John Cook and spent some time on the bench coaching JV with Kelly Sheffield. Learning from the best. Trying to do what he can to slow down this Wisconsin run right now. That'll do it. Rutherford with the kill. Adana Rollins, number eight in white, nailed that pass, setting up Rutherford for a good kill on that right pin. Love it. And then you see the lefty work through the seam of the blockers for Wisconsin. Obviously, Kentucky has cooled off considerably, now hitting 250 here in this first set. Down by three, Rutherford to serve. Lamb. Started with the dig from the freshman from Istanbul. Good defense from Wisconsin. Four-point lead for the Badgers. And I feel like Wisconsin is doing the same thing Kentucky was doing better at the beginning, digging and working it around the block. Wisconsin turning digs into kills now. Caroline Crawford committed to this Wisconsin program the day after the Badgers won their NCAA championship last year. Big swing. Good offense for Kentucky. The kill for Teeler. She is only 5'10", but she gets up. Nice right side attack down that line outside the block. You can see she is so intense too. She'll set the intensity level for this Kentucky team. So if she's able to get going a little bit, that could turn the tide here for the Wildcats. Instead, it's another point for Wisconsin. They're back on top by four here in the first. Again, 15 Teeler undersized for Kentucky, but gets good touches. Both she and Getzinger. 13% touches on the block. Every time they're making an attempt, they're touching that ball. 
Izzy Ashburn back to serve for Wisconsin. Rollins. Great job by Walker. Answered back on the other side by Wisconsin. Point Badgers. Can we talk about that cover by Raya Walker of Please Kentucky? Do. That was sensational. Looked like a for sure point for Wisconsin. Robinson and Hart closing it down and then kept alive by Raya Walker, the defensive specialist for Kentucky. Those are the plays that really make a difference. And on the other side, Orgel was there for Wisconsin, so it's a point for the Badgers. They're the first to 20 here in the first set, leading now by five. Which Tekken got there. And again. A great sliding dive by Franklin. And a point for Wisconsin. Great point by the Badgers. Sarah Franklin in the backcourt ran down that shot from Rollins, and that was the difference in that play for the Badgers. Look at this pursuit. The court looked like it was open, but Sarah Franklin covering that backcourt beautifully, and her team appreciates it. Robinson gets the kill, her team high fourth of this first set. Give the gold star to Sarah Franklin. First team Big Ten last season with Michigan State. And already a key part of this Wisconsin team this season. Now that's a good set by Chrome to find the flying Teeler for the kill. That ball is set quick and wide, and Teeler attacking the outside hand of the blocker. She gets on this ball so quick and works it out of bounds. You gotta love Gooch Tekken. We saw her this morning in serve and pass. She was flying around the court at practice this morning, diving, pancakes, doing whatever it takes. And we've seen that here in set number one from the freshman as well. I think she only has one speed, 100% yes. every time. And I'll tell you, that ball that she just put up from off the court was a fantastic transition set. And something Kelly Sheffield said she's especially good at. Service error for Wisconsin, give the point to Kentucky, but Wisconsin three points away from taking set one in the best of five. We always talk about Libros being great passers, great diggers, but that transition set is so important when the play is broken or when your setter digs the ball to get a good set that you can turn into a point is so important. Lauren Barnes so good at that position for Wisconsin in their national championship run. Remember, three straight trips to the national semifinals for Kelly Sheffield's team. Gould Jay back to serve now for Wisconsin, two points away from a set win. Rutherford, no stopping that one point, Kentucky. Beautiful. Love the first contact, quick ball to Rutherford, the lefty on that right pin. So fun to watch. This is one of the reasons why Kentucky's offensive numbers as a team have been so high. Third kill for Reagan Rutherford. Three for Teeler, three for Rollins. Hitting air for Wisconsin. Franklin couldn't find the mark. Point for Kentucky, not done yet here in set number one. Sensing that, Kelly Sheffield will use his first time out. Wisconsin was on top 22-16 a moment ago. Best of five WNBA final starts Sunday afternoon, 3 Eastern, noon Pacific on ABC and the ESPN app. John Bell Jones, Dewana Bonner, and the Connecticut Sun taking on MVP Asia Wilson in the Las Vegas Aces. Both teams looking for their first WNBA title gets started Sunday on ABC. So here we are 
on a Friday evening in Lexington, last Friday night in Madison. It was a moment years and years in the making as Wisconsin celebrated their first national championship. It was banner night. They were lined up in Madison hours before and plenty of smiles, a reunion, and just a great moment as they got their rings and they got to unveil the championship banner. They had been there to that championship game in the past. They got over the top with that memorable five set victory over their rivals from Nebraska in front of a volleyball record crowd, 18,755. It was one of the best matches I've ever seen in my life. Played at such a high level when it all counted. That followed up what happened the spring before, remember the 2020-2021 season because of COVID when Kentucky won their first ever national championship. And that was a first for the SEC, of course, to have a champion. Kelly Sheffield put it great. You know, when we talked to him this week about, you know, you won a championship, Craig Skinner won a championship, both programs, first time national champions. That's off the mark, another point for Kentucky. So many teams had repeat championships, winning the national title, but two first-timers the last yeah. two times. Breaking into that elite group is something special. Well, Kentucky is on a run thanks to the service run right now. It's a 4 nothing run for Kentucky as Rollins serving Kentucky back into this first set. Timeout called by Wisconsin. Good timeout, Adonna Rollins hot right now off the service line. Kentucky needs a tough serve and a big stop defensively. Offensively, the numbers are pretty similar. Wisconsin hitting 241 as a team, Kentucky hitting 276. Just to finish up the point we were talking about a moment ago there, Holly, about the past champions. And you see, well, Stanford and Nebraska, Stanford and Nebraska. All credit to them. They've had unbelievable programs. But it is really good for the sport to see some championship banners be unveiled in some other buildings. Definitely. The parody, and everybody talks about it across the country, is better than it's ever been. Um, and there's more teams that can win it now. And that makes it way more exciting. And before Kentucky did it, what was the last first time champion? It was Washington. In 2005. That was a long time. I remember watching that. That was a big moment. Big moment here in set number one with Wisconsin trying to put it away here on the road. They were up by six at 22-16, but Kentucky has battled back thanks to this service run by Adana Rollins. Both teams have used their two timeouts here in set one. The timeout slow Rollins down, or will she pick up where she left off? Rollins kept it alive. Lamb for the kill. Looked like it caught hands. Point Kentucky. Kelly Sheffield's going to ask his block if they touch it, or is he going to just shift them over and serve receive? 5 nothing run. Another good serve by Rollins. That one is just long, and Kentucky has come back to tie it here in set one. Sarah Franklin of Wisconsin looking at her coach, Kelly Sheffield, pulling out that challenge card for a touch. So Kelly Sheffield will use the challenge here. And we'll take a look, as will our officials, to see if there was a touch here. Ball on the court was no touch.
I'm looking for some finger action. Obviously, it's opposite our camera. Now, they do have access to a net view that we don't have, a little bit closer to where that contact is. So I would say this is inconclusive from our vantage point. I agree. Maybe we could see it from baseline. They do see a touch, so a successful challenge here for Sheffield and Wisconsin. So that ends the run for Kentucky. And it is now set point for Wisconsin. Chant, go Big Blue, as MJ Hamill ready to serve for set one. <laughs> Rutherford with the point. The connection between Emma Groom, the center for Kentucky, and Reagan Rutherford on that right side is so fun to watch. Set point number two for Wisconsin. Lamb swings and it is long. Point Wisconsin. Checking the faces of the Kentucky players, and they are not turning to the bench to call for a challenge there. They know it didn't hit hands. So the first set goes to Wisconsin. Good start for Kentucky, but Wisconsin battled back. Had a good, comfortable lead before Kentucky made a late run, but in the end, the defending national champions take set one here in Lexington. Watching the SEC on ESPN. Friday night volleyball, Lexington, Kentucky, a matchup of the last two national champions. Wisconsin and Kentucky in set one went to the defending national champions. It was a tight one though, 25-23 in set one. Just take a look at some of the numbers. Kentucky had an edge in kills, but an edge in blocks for Wisconsin. Hitting numbers favored Kentucky, but a plus two in the aces category for Wisconsin. And Wisconsin coming from a player, the Libero, Gulchi Guttekin, who hasn't really served too much in her career coming from Turkey. As a matter of fact, she didn't get here until August 12th to the States. First time ever in the United States, so she missed the first handful of practices. Kelly Sheffield said there was a little hesitancy on opening weekend from her, but better in the second weekend. What was one of the things that jumped out to you about when he was talking about her taking second balls, about she is elite 
at that. Yeah, well, it's important. I mean, there's balls that happen all the time that shoot off side to side, but she's willing to step up and put up a hittable ball. And that's that's excellent ball control if you're able to do that. We've seen that a couple times here we so have. far in this match. So the two teams switch ends and benches, and we're ready for set number two in the best of five. Individually, Reagan Rutherford leading the way for Kentucky. Four kills hit 500 in that first set. Devin Robinson with five kills to lead all players hit 444 in the first. Sarah Franklin also with four kills. Big swing and a kill for Rollins. That's her fourth kill. You have to give credit to the setter for Kentucky, Emma Grome, isolating Adonna Rollins on that left side pin. Looked like she might go middle, so Hart, the middle blocker for Wisconsin, stayed middle, and that isolated Rollins on that left pin. Walker with the serve. Dug out by Bevan. And look for Rollins again, and it works again. Good patience by Kentucky. They started with a back row attack, recycled the ball, and then went back out to that left pin where they've had so much success from Rollins. Rollins last year in her one season with Penn State averaged just under two and a half kills a set. This season averaging three and a half kills a set in the early going for Kentucky. And they've played three ranked teams. Marquette was not ranked before taking on Kentucky, though was ranked soon after. And we mentioned what happened in the Blue Jay Invitational last weekend, going 3-0. Oh, Wisconsin's ready with the defense on Rollins that time. Fourth block of the match for the Badgers. Danielle Hart, Devin Robinson. That is just a Wisconsin wall over there on that right side. That block goes out of play. That's a creative way to find a kill off the inside hands out the other side of the court. Such a sharp angle by Rollins. Teeler back to serve for Kentucky. And a block. Now you saw on the bench, Anna Smreck over there, who just happens to be the most outstanding player of last year's Final Four in Columbus, yet she's not on the court right now as Kelly Sheffield just finding the right combinations here in the early going this season. Well, Anna Sreck has been battling some stress fractures ever since that Final Four last year over the summer, and she hasn't got the reps that she needs to play at the level that he wants her to play. So once she gets those reps, and now that she's healthy, she's going to work her way back into that lineup. But in the meantime, Wisconsin has plenty of weapons. Block back, so you had an ace again from Guchtekin. And now a block and another point for Wisconsin. They're up by two here in set number two. That time, number nine in red, Caroline Crawford does a great job getting out to Sarah Franklin and closing that block for Wisconsin. Good adjustment by Rollins to get it over. That one is in, point for Kentucky. It's not easy getting it past that Wisconsin block, and Adonna Rollins is having to get very creative. This set from the Libero, and she turns it down the line, finding open court for Kentucky. Franklin. And a good block by Kentucky. Getzinger at the net with Rollins. 
That time, left side, right side, Kentucky doing a great job defensively at the net. See the transition set go back to Robinson and then Rollins gets most of that one. There's Grom. 19 aces last year, seven in the early going this season. Tough to handle sometimes. Franklin did well, and then got into position. Try to put it away. Good sliding play by Ashburn, but it's a point. Call it double on Wisconsin. Give the point to Kentucky, and they've come back to take the lead here in set two. I thought that set came out of her hands really well. It was surprising, but came out clean. Elise Getzinger in number 11 in white is doing some really nice eye work watching where Wisconsin's going offensively. That one is just long, so a service error, and we have our fourth tie of the second set. Craig Skinner's team went 25 and 5 last year, 19 and 1 in the SEC, following up their national championship so hard, especially after that spring season to get restarted. Defending that championship. That one is going to be long, and the point goes to Wisconsin. That time, Rollins trying to go high hands. Wisconsin's front row very big defensively at the net. Grome to Rutherford who drops the hammer for her six kill. Emma Grome knows how to locate that ball to her opposite. Reagan Rutherford, look at this ball. She is dynamic, gets on top of it, hits a very sharp angle. Last match had 14 kills, hit 444 against USC. That followed a match when she had 25 kills and hit 524 against Creighton. Grome goes quickly to Getzinger for the kill. I love that play by Emma Grome because she rewards at least Getzinger for getting off the net, digging that ball, giving her the perfect pass. You want to reward your middle blocker for that. And look at the fire. That's how you get your middle blockers going. Here she is again, Getzinger, another kill. And the hotter Getzinger gets, the better Kentucky's gonna go because the block's gonna have to stay in the middle for Wisconsin. Look at this right between the two blockers for Wisconsin. Getzinger from Blue Mounds, Wisconsin, about a half hour from Madison. On the block, gets a point for Wisconsin. That time, Sarah Franklin and Crawford on the block. Franklin had shifted to the right side to put up a big block. Grigorski will come back on to serve for Wisconsin. Badgers took set one, Sheffield stepping out onto the court to argue with the referee. 
He saw something that he thinks should have been called. He did not like the way the ball came out of the setter's hands for Kentucky. And we know everyone's sweating. That ball could have slipped through our hands. It did not come out that clean, and that's what he's complaining about. Back row set in the block. Teeler there for Kentucky. 15 and wide, Ajani Teeler is up. Great eye work. She saw Franklin coming out of the back row. No surprise, she is up and over. This is just a textbook block from her hands over the net. She doesn't go up and then over, she just goes over. So pretty. Point Kentucky. That ball hit the Wisconsin block and then the antenna. Great transition point for Kentucky. So now Kelly Sheffield will bring on Anna Smreck into the match. Jay Demps will check out. Smreck, who had 20 kills against Louisville in the national semifinal, 14 kills against Nebraska in the title game. And they set her right away. Got hands on it, but went out of play, and it's a point for Kentucky. Up by five here in set two. Kentucky just rolling defensively. Eleanor Beaver doing a really good job keeping that ball alive, giving her hitters opportunities to score. Kelly Sheffield does not want to wait for the media timeout, which comes when the team reaches 15 points for the first time. He wants to talk now, try to slow things down. Down five, set two. Here are our featured ESPN Plus college football games tomorrow. West Virginia hosting Kansas in Morgantown, 6 Eastern, 3 Pacific. Central Arkansas and 22nd ranked Ole Miss in Oxford. And Kent State visiting 7th ranked Oklahoma, both at 7 Eastern, 4 Pacific. To get ESPN Plus, go to ESPNplus.com or download the ESPN app. Four nothing run for Kentucky. Forced the Wisconsin timeout. Good save by Teeler. And Smreck will get the kill. And that is the first kill of set number two for Wisconsin. Wow. I was just looking at the stats for Wisconsin. Prior to that, they had three players who had killed the ball. Just three, and, and running a 6-2, you want to spread that wealth offensively. Caroline Crawford to serve. Rutherford received it, called for it, killed it. Point Kentucky. Rutherford hitting beautifully from that pin. That's her seventh kill on 14 swings, hitting 500. Big seam in that Wisconsin block to attack. You talked about it before, too, that Wisconsin would target her. Craig Skinner likes where Rutherford is in her development in serve receive, but that was strong there, and then she got the kill afterwards. Rome the lamb. Swing, Teeler with the kill. Kentucky was very disciplined in that whole rally, using both pins. And then you see the setter attack there. Wisconsin able to keep it alive, but then Ajani Teeler going behind the setter for the kill. Net violation on Kentucky, but their off blocker who is not blocking is doing a really nice job picking up that roll shot. 
So the point for Wisconsin slows down a 6-1 Kentucky run. Brings the Badgers within five, up a set over Craig Skinner's team here in Lexington. Kentucky's in a rotation with Setter in the front row, Emma Grome. So look for Kentucky to possibly use a back row attacker. Bevin, great hustle to get there to keep it in play. But that just delays a point for Wisconsin. That is Danielle Hart, who is coming up on the one-year anniversary of her ACL tear. It was September 14th of last season, so she's still trying to get up to full strength. Full out run there by Bevin to keep it alive for Kentucky, but the point for Hart. Last two points for Wisconsin started from the service line. Izzy Ashburn is one of the best servers in the conference. She was a defensive specialist, would come in and score often from the back line. Now she's scoring as a server, but also running the offense for Wisconsin. Timeout <laughs> called by Kentucky with Wisconsin within three here in set number two. You want to quiet that hot server, make her think about her serve before she gets back. Well, while the teams huddle up, I want to take a moment to pay tribute to Kentucky. The, the weather has just been horrible in the Commonwealth. I think back to last December, the tornadoes in the western part of the state. And then last month, Breathitt County, Kentucky, and eastern Kentucky was just devastated by flooding. And the Kentucky team wanted to know how they could help. So. They loaded up the bus and they went out to Breathitt County, met with the people out there. You can see they were trying to help with the relief and they wanted to find another way to help out. What else can we do? And someone suggested, let's have an open practice at Breathitt County High School. And you can see what a great thrill for them to see the national champs from 2020 in their gym, signing autographs and putting some smiles on faces during a time where it was tough to smile. Well, it's a great opportunity for both, for these student athletes to be able to help in giving back to the community, and then obviously to inspire the people in that area and show them what they can what they can be. Yeah, the weather hit Lexington this week. In fact, they had flooding here in this old building this week, and there was standing water in this building. There was some concern as to whether or not they'd be able to play in this building here tonight. Craig Skinner said he knew by Tuesday. He was very relieved on Tuesday that the green light was given and everything looks fine. But Monday, it was touch and go here into Tuesday, but they did a great job getting the arena ready. And like I said, the, the weather has been devastating at one extreme and inconvenience Folks here, Monday and Tuesday, that may not be strong enough a term because they had to do a real good job to get the building ready for this match here between the last two national champions here on a Friday night. So after the timeout, Wisconsin back on the serve with Ashburn. Tough one for Lamb to handle. Kentucky still in the point. And that one is out of play. But Wisconsin plays ahead of that point at an advantage because of the tough serve from Izzy Ashburn. She gets Kentucky out of system, and that's why they're on the scoring run. Orgel gets her fourth kill of the match. So Kentucky had a 6-1 run. It's been answered by Wisconsin going on a 4-0 run at the moment. Free ball and a chance to add to it here. And they will. The kill for Robinson. This is a big time scoring rotation for Wisconsin with Ashburn on the line. Kentucky needs to adjust. They're going to add a, another player into that serve receive. Oftentimes, Kentucky will pass with two. Now they have three. Freshman Audrey Whitworth is the one who comes into the match. I was just going to ask, if you're Kentucky, what's the adjustment you make right now? They target Whitworth right away. And a block. But a point for Kentucky. Lamb just did everything she could to try and get to that ball and hit it as hard as she could. She got a lucky break there. 
So Lamb will check out of the match again. We talked about it at the top, coming off an ankle injury, suffered against Ohio two weeks ago, missed spring practice with an injury. She's been battling back problems. So she'll check out of the match right now. We'll do a reenactment of what just happened. <laughs> Love Getzinger's passion. Raya Walker to serve for Kentucky. And a tough ball for Orgel to do anything with, and as a result, it's a point for Kentucky, and the Wildcats are on top by three. Ajani Tila getting outside, watching her hit her with that off speed and just pushing it back down. Big swing and another kill for Devin Robinson, leading the way for Wisconsin with seven kills. One of, the, match. one of the things I love, Kelly Sheffield said about Devin Robinson, she can hit from anywhere, any tempo, and you see it right there, the versatility to have a hitter like that, really important. Robinson had some big, crucial kills in that win against Marquette. And gets another one. Fantastic defense, both sides of the net, but Robinson too much on that right side pin. That ball set wide enough where she can attack outside the blocker. Starts with a dig, good tech in for Wisconsin, and then going outside of Rollins for the kill. Wisconsin now hitting 129 in this set. Kentucky 250 in this set. Yulia Orgel back to serve. Uh, Rollins with the kill. Rollins makes it look effortless. It is not easy to hit around that gigantic Wisconsin block at the net, but she finds a way turning that ball down the line high. You see Rollins with the eight kills. That leads Kentucky. Rutherford with seven. Lamb also with seven. Teeler to serve. Point Kentucky. You have to think the lack of air conditioning and the sweaty bodies that that ball's coming off the player's arms wet. They got the fans cranked up as far as they can go, I think. Another point for Kentucky. Setter was back row, so she can't elevate and go over the net. Kentucky going for a run of their own. It has been a match of runs. We saw that in the first set. Kentucky got off to a good start, but then Wisconsin with a strong close. Wisconsin had a run in this second set. Kentucky's had a 6-1 run, and right now Kentucky's on a 3-0 run and a timeout called by Wisconsin. They use their final timeout. A reminder, game one of the best of five WNBA finals starts Sunday afternoon. We'll have a first time WNBA champion. Will it be Asia Wilson and the Aces or will it be the Connecticut Sun? Find out game one, three o'clock Eastern, noon Pacific on ABC and the ESPN app. Both teams playing challenging schedules, but when you take a look at what Kentucky is doing in a span of 10 days, they've played Creighton, they've played USC, USC, but look what they have here. Wisconsin, defending national champions. Louisville, national semifinalist that lost to Wisconsin in Columbus. Nebraska played in the national championship against Wisconsin. Three of the four teams that were in Columbus in a span of 10 days here in this building. These teams are gonna learn a lot about themselves. Early season tests, these are all teams that want to be there at the end of the season fighting for that trophy. Happy to bring game one of 
three against some of the top teams in the country. We'll have all three of them here on the ESPN Family Networks. Kelly Sheffield out of timeouts. Kentucky with one timeout remaining, but they have the advantage here in set two. They're the first team to 20 as we play to 25. Franklin. I didn't notice it before. I think it's a new addition. Franklin's got the white towel hanging out of the back here. You just talked about when it's hot and you get sweaty, it's tough to control. Well, it's tough to control, but if it comes off your platform, that's one thing. But if you have to handset it, it's another. And so when Franklin's passing that ball, if her arms are wet, that makes it hard for the setter to run the offense. That is an ace for Wisconsin. Guess who? Gulchi Guktekin, who never served before coming to Wisconsin. She didn't even practice it back at home because internationally, the Libros are not allowed to serve the ball. She has three aces in this match already, nine in her young Wisconsin career. Oh, diving in, saving it is Bevin, the Libero for Kentucky. And it's a point for Wisconsin. Beautiful pancake dig by Bevin. The Libro for Kentucky, but that one carries wide. Robinson goes right over the block, and then Bevan just extends to keep it alive, and then the ball set out of bounds. Tekken to serve again. Another good one. Caught the tape. And the block and a point for Wisconsin. And the Badgers have tied it up here in Lexington. We've seen momentum switch jerseys off in this match. And now Kentucky wants to sit down and talk about it. Four straight points for Wisconsin. Kentucky uses their final timeout of the set. This ball needs to be set wider and a little bit higher. Getzinger can. Elevate, but there she has no room to clear the block. Now we know how the block can be effective for Wisconsin. We saw that in the title game against Nebraska last year with 24 blocks. Championship match record. They have nine blocks as we play the second set here in Kentucky. One player who was not part of that championship team for Wisconsin. Gulce Guchtekin, Libero from Istanbul. Fixture, as I said before, on the Turkish junior national team. She has stepped right in and done a great job. But she has had great success overseas. And you don't know until you get to the States for the first time and you start playing Division I volleyball and you're playing for the national champions. But you're seeing her in person here at practice this morning and in game action right here for the first time. What are your impressions of this freshman? Well, first of all, the learning curve in the area of serving, I'm really impressed with obviously the passing and the digging we know she's good at because Kelly Sheffield said he saw her highlight reel and it's not easy to blow up a highlight reel as a defender and a passer, right? It's just kind of the basic stuff that you need to do. It's a very important skill. But it's hard to have a great highlight reel, but hers was fantastic, and he knew she would be something special. Three aces, an assist, seven digs so far for the freshman. Kentucky fans trying to rally their team. Point for Kentucky. That ends the Wisconsin scoring run at four straight. Kentucky has pretty big front row now. Emma Grohm, the setter, goes to the back row. Adonna Rollins elevates, little off-speed shot, drops for Kentucky. Team high nine kills now for Rollins. Franklin. 
Point Wisconsin. And there's the big arm of Sarah Franklin, 13 in red. She has been such a great addition to this Wisconsin program. So they'll sub out Ashburn and Hamill, the other setter in the 6-2, will come on now for Wisconsin. Anna Smreck also checks in for the Badgers as Robinson heads out. I'll tell you, Adonna Rollins has to hit against a six foot nine blocker. That's got to be someone's worst nightmare. Instead, they go to Getzinger in the middle. Bit of a fair fight since Elise is six foot four, point for Kentucky. And that's a great decision by Emma Grome, the setter for Kentucky, not going it. Anna Schreck, number 14 in red for Wisconsin. You want to go away from her. Rollins back to serve, closing in on a double-double. Nine kills, nine digs. Good serve. Spreck with the kill. Good elevation, nice kill out of the middle, but Gulce Guptekin, the freshman Libro, getting it done on that first contact, putting it right in her setter's hands. Tied at 22. Franklin will come out, and again, we'll see Grigorski come on to serve. Eighth tie of set two. Rome to Rutherford. Guchtekin tried. Slid just about a foot short of us, knocked it to a couple of still photographers, apologized to them as she was getting back up. Point Kentucky. I mean, Reagan Rutherford, sharp angle with he good touch in the pursuit by Guchtekin, just comes up a little short. Ah, that's a service error and a costly time for Kentucky that will tie things at 23. Kentucky has three hitters in this rotation. Smrek on that right pin. Let's see if they avoid her. Caroline Crawford to serve for Wisconsin. Up a set here in Lexington. Rome looks for Rutherford. Off the block, out of play. Point Kentucky, set point for the Wildcats, and they'll come to their feet here at Memorial Coliseum. Point for Wisconsin. Craig Skinner looks to his players to say, should I challenge this call right here? And he's got the green challenge card. Adonna Rollins was covering her hitter and said that ball was out. But Shrek was a wall for Wisconsin. Not sure, it looked like Lamb moved out of the way. Let's see where this ball lands. happened so fast. So Kentucky with the challenge. The call on the court is Point Wisconsin. We saw this at the end of set number one. Remember when Kentucky tied it up at 23, but Wisconsin challenged. It was a successful challenge. From that angle, it looks in. And it is a very quick replay. So for the first time, Craig Skinner is unsuccessful on a challenge. He was four for four this season. That leaves Kentucky with one through the fourth set. If we reach a fifth set, they will be given an additional challenge. Now Kentucky in a rotation where Emma Grome, the setter's in the front row. So they've only got two front row attackers. Look for Rutherford to attack out of the back row.
Good serve by Ashburn. Set back. Orgel off hands, Point Wisconsin. And there you see that second contact by the Libero for Washington, putting Julia Orzo in a good position to score this ball, tooling it off the block. We'll have a delay as they bring out a couple of towels here after that long point. Ten ties, five lead changes here in set two. You have to win by two, Wisconsin with set point. Kentucky stays alive. Love the back and forth battle. This is a very high level set right now. Kentucky had a set point at 24-23. Wisconsin had one at 25-24. And now we're even at 25. And again, you have to win by two. Ryo Walker will serve for the Wildcats. Arjol never leaves anything behind when she gets up for a swing. Another set point for Wisconsin. And good decision for Wisconsin trying to get that matchup, attacking the shortest blocker on the court, which is Emma Grome for Kentucky. Set point number two for Wisconsin, and it will be Orgel back to serve. Kentucky answers. Right now, Wisconsin has a huge front row defensively blocking, but Ajani Teeler from that right pin attacking quick right in that seam between the two blockers. Six kills for Teeler. Kentucky hitting 295 this set. Franklin. Off speed, it's effective. And Wisconsin has their third set point. We know Franklin's got a big arm, but right there, beautiful touch to the middle of the court, a little off speed drops. For Kentucky. Gooch Tekken serving for the set. Franklin, well done by Ashburn. It was tied at the net, set a good ball, and Wisconsin takes set number two, and they're up two sets to none. Wisconsin got exactly what they want right there. Kentucky has their smallest blocker at the net, and Franklin, that's a mismatch. So Wisconsin fights off a set point in set two, and they take a two sets to none lead as we go to the break. And we're joined now by Wisconsin head coach Kelly Sheffield. Coach, it seemed like you were playing catch up most of the second set. What were the adjustments that you made to come back? <laughs> You know, I think we were getting better swings uh, later on in that set than what we had the, probably the first set and a half. We were probably saving a lot of balls, but both teams are scoring a lot of points off their serve. It's, both teams are serving really, really tough. Uh, we're serving and blocking, uh, and then we started connecting a lot better there at, uh, at that set. All right, Kelly, thanks for the time. We appreciate it. Thanks, guys. Kelly Sheffield, the Wisconsin head coach, the defending national champs, uh, two sets to none over Kentucky. Welcome back to the SEC on ESPN. Two sets in the books, 2 nothing Wisconsin on top of Kentucky. 
Another chapter added today to the Duke BYU story we followed the last two weeks. This morning, BYU announced results of its investigation into whether a fan used a racial slur to Duke volleyball player Rachel Richardson during their match on August 26. BYU said the investigation included more than 50 people from Duke, BYU, event security, and fans. They released this statement. From our extensive review, we have not found any evidence to corroborate the allegation that fans engaged in racial heckling or uttered racial slurs at the event. As we stated earlier, we would not tolerate any conduct that would make a student athlete feel unsafe. That is the reason for our immediate response and our thorough investigation. As a result of our investigation, we have lifted the ban on the fan who was identified as having uttered racial slurs during the match. We have not found any evidence that that individual engaged in such an activity. BYU sincerely apologizes to that fan for any hardship the ban has caused. BYU said it informed Duke of its findings prior to releasing them. Duke released a statement saying, in part, the 18 members of the Duke University volleyball team are exceptionally strong women who represent themselves, their families, and Duke University with the utmost integrity. We unequivocally stand with and champion them, especially when their character is called into question. That all today in the latest from BYU and Duke. On the court here in Lexington, Wisconsin on top, two sets to none over Kentucky. You heard what Kelly Sheffield had to say about the difference so far for Wisconsin. What are some of the differences you see so far, Holly McPeak, that's put Wisconsin up in this very tight match? I feel like Wisconsin has gone on some big scoring runs towards the end of the match, both the first and second set. Kentucky jumped on Wisconsin and was able to get a lead early, but Wisconsin responded and, and did a great job finishing the end of the set. To your point, Kentucky had a 15-9 lead in set number two, and they did have a set point in set two, but in the end, the defending national champions came up with the winning plays to put away set two in this best of five. Wisconsin serves to open the third. Dropped in by Reagan Rutherford. She's the first to double figures and kills with 10, hitting another high percentage. She did that last weekend in Creighton, 444 against USC, 524 against the Blue Jays, and she's at 588 tonight. 10 kills, 17 attempts, zero errors. That is not easy to do against a strong defensive team like Washington, excuse me, Wisconsin. Orgel off hands for the kill for Wisconsin. After Yulia picked up her seventh kill, she's back to serve for the Badgers. Rome to Rutherford again. That has been a winning combination. 32 assists now for Emma Grohm. Incredible numbers and just consistency. The rhythm between Grohm and Rutherford is really nice to watch. I asked Craig Skinner if he thought that she was getting too many sets, and he's like, you know what? When she's our hot hitter and hitting with that kind of efficiency, why not get her the ball as often as possible? Well, it's worked when Wisconsin has gotten the ball to Devin Robinson because she has nine kills for the Badgers to lead them in that category. Franklin close behind with eight point for Wisconsin. We're tied at two. There's been one of the big difference makers for Wisconsin. That effective serve, not this time, from Gustekin. And it's a point for Kentucky. Looking at the stats, Caroline Crawford and Danielle Hart for Wisconsin have only had one kill this entire match. So they've only got one kill out of the middle. Yes, they're running Devin Robinson out of the middle sometimes, but that could be an area that Wisconsin really works on and grows. Marshall could also couldn't get their point for Kentucky. The service pressure, both sides of the net serving it very flat with pace. The ace for Rutherford. Oh, 
I wonder if we have towel changes after every set or if it's just as needed, you know, like. They probably should have them, especially if you're a passer. You don't want your arms wet. Multiple towel change weather here in Lexington today. And Kentucky off to a good start again here in set three, up by three. Another good serve by Rutherford, handled well by Wisconsin. Lamb, and the block is there for Wisconsin. Crawford, Robinson teaming up. Lamb's been getting a lot of out-of-system balls, and which are tough to put away. And then when you've got Robinson and Crawford in front of you, and now Sprack coming in, makes it a long night. MJ Hamill to serve for Wisconsin. Well, you talked about Lamb, had no trouble handling that tough one right there as she gets the kill for Kentucky, her eighth kill of the night. But again, it was out of system yes. coming from deep in the court. She's got a big block in front of her, and she just stays aggressive. Look at this dig by Bevan, and then out of system coming from way off the net. She keeps her arm high enough, turns it down the line, gets it by Smrek. It felt like sitting here, she made that look much easier than it probably was. That one is in and a point for Wisconsin off the swing by Crawford. Crawford gets a kill out of the middle. Wisconsin needs more of that. It's a second kill out of the middle for Wisconsin all night. Sarah Franklin will serve for the Badgers. That one's long. Point Kentucky. Raya Walker follows that ball all the way out. I like that eye work. You want to make sure that ball's wide. Johnny Teeler to serve. Diving attempt by Teeler to get there, could not, and it's a point for the Badgers. Anna Smrek, more offense out of the middle. Even though she's lined up in the opposite position, that time she's attacking from the middle. It's a nice big target to set. We did not see Smrek in set number one. Now with three kills on five swings. Point for Wisconsin. That time, Rollins trying to tool that inside hand of the blocker out of bounds, but it was pointed straight down back into the court. Back row swing and a good one from Rutherford, the set by Grove. Poetry in motion, what a beautiful Back row attack by Reagan Rutherford. Triple block, and she still finds a way to kill it. 33 assists now for Grome. Emma back to serve for Kentucky. Up by two in the third. Off the block and a point for Wisconsin. Smrek making an impact, number 14 in red. She was the most outstanding player in the final game of the NCAA championship last year, but working to get on the court for Wisconsin this year. A struggle against High Point last time out. Two kills, a block, and two sets came into the match, averaging just a kill and a half a set, hitting less than 100. Kentucky gets that point. You see the sophomore out of Canada. 
on the bench right now. Now a substitution for Kentucky. I think this is the first time we've seen Haley Melby here today. I saw her practicing earlier and was pretty impressed. She's worked really hard in the team dresser. She's performed well when she got a chance, and here we get to see her again. Freshman from Indiana. Here she is trying to get the block, but no stopping that swing for Wisconsin's heart. There you see Haley from Munster, Indiana, had 21 kills and hit 327 in three matches at the Blue Jay Invitational. That was her first weekend of collegiate action. Made quite the impact as Lamb was battling the injury. On the block, Point Kentucky. Beautiful press over the net by number 10 in white, Reagan Rutherford. Good defense. We're seeing her play some outstanding volleyball on both sides, both defense and offense for Kentucky. Twelve kills, eight digs, and a block for Rutherford. out just fine for Kentucky as Teeler is there for the Wildcats. What a dynamic defensive play by Ajani Teeler. She was out coming back from missing that first block and then defensive press right there. Impressive for Kentucky. And then a service error for the Wildcats. That is their eighth of the match. Stecking back to serve for Wisconsin. Another one for Rutherford. Emma Groom, the setter for Kentucky, has so much confidence in Rutherford. And you see why. This is an out-of-system play. Groom puts Rutherford back in a good position to score on that right pin inside the block. Heading into this season, Reagan Rutherford said her goal was to be a six-rotation player. She had several boxes to check to get to that point, but you've talked about the serve-receive how she's building her defense, and offensively, it's tough to take her off the court, that's for sure. There's Rutherford for Groom, who looks for the opening and finds it for Kentucky. Rutherford, great footwork to deliver that first contact, and then Emma Groom calls her own number and throws it right into the middle of the court. Rutherford waiting to serve. And a service error for Rutherford. Nine now for Kentucky as a team. MJ Hamill and Anna Smreck coming back onto the court for Wisconsin. Part of the 6-2 rotation. MJ Hamill will be the setter now. Ashburn with 17 assists. Hamill with nine. Rutherford to try to save it. Ran out of room. Point Wisconsin. Ball is Driven backwards, Rutherford, wow. She's got to be careful. We need her. I think you're going to find a little bit extra in the tank when you're playing the defending national champions, and you've won the national championship the season prior. 
That ball passed right, and I think Grom and Teeler got their wires crossed because Grom was just chasing that ball. Audrey Whitworth will come on for Rollins. So Rutherford, Bevan, and Whitworth in the back row right now in serve receive. And that is going to be a service error as they targeted Whitworth but couldn't find her, couldn't find a spot in bounds, and it's a point for Kentucky. And, and now Rollins back on the court in the front row for Kentucky. And that will be a service error for Kentucky. Both teams really going for it from the service line. No let up. They've combined for eight aces and 17 service errors. Grigorski on to serve. Wisconsin won set one, 25-23, set two, 28-26. Fought off a set point in set two. And the block has been good all night, per usual, for the Badgers. Julia, Julia Orjo and Caroline Crawford on the left pin. Nice block on Teeler right there. No seam in that Wisconsin block. Thirteen blocks on the night for Wisconsin. Bevan for Rollins. Defense again is there for the Badgers. Point, Wisconsin. M most of the time, Rollins can elevate, but right now, Wisconsin 15-14 in this third set. That gets us to our media timeout with Wisconsin up one. Last two points for Wisconsin have come via the block, and it's been good all night long. Wisconsin's block defensively. First they get them in trouble with serve receive, and then they become pretty obvious where they're going, and then Wisconsin just smells blood and goes aggressive with their block defense at the net. 14 total team blocks for Wisconsin. Individually, seven for Crawford and six for Robinson. Robinson has a solo block. Kelly Sheffield's team looking for the sweep here in Lexington, but a service error out of the timeout. Ties things at 15. I would love to see Getzinger of Kentucky get some more sets offensively because that really in turn gets her defense going. Off the fingers, Walker got there. Big swing by Orgel for the point. Yulia Orgel, 22 in red, attacking down that line at Emma Grom. Good mismatch and attacking the smaller blocker. Eight kills for the sophomore. Crawford with the serve. Grome to Getzinger. When Kentucky passes that ball well, they can get their middles involved, both Teeler and Getzinger. Getzinger spent her summer with the USA collegiate team. Got some good reps, some good experience, and some confidence. Five kills tonight for Getzinger. And an ace from Grome. Grome, tough serve, attacking the scene between two of the passers for Wisconsin. That one will sail long. Service error, Kentucky Point, Wisconsin. Yeah, 
Ashburn will come back on for Wisconsin. This has been a big scoring rotation for Wisconsin with Ashburn on the service line. Brought the fur, blocked back again by Wisconsin. <laughs> Block number 15 for the Badgers. That's the first time they've stopped Reagan Rutherford all night long. The first air. Danielle Hart, who's been working to come back from that ACL surgery, closes the block there for Wisconsin. Rollins will try it on the left side. And another kill for Devin Robinson. Devin. Kentucky's going to have to use the timeout. I'm sorry, Holly. That's OK. Devin Robinson gets on top of that line so quick. Adonna Rollins, the blocker for Kentucky, was trying to get there. But Robinson too quick on the ball. Timeout called by Kentucky. The critically acclaimed series True South returns for its fifth season. Tomorrow, John T. Edge travels to a marble yard in Tompkinsville, Kentucky. It's about two and a half hours from where we are right now. But talk with the locals, eat good food, talk about Southern beliefs, identities, 8 Eastern, 7 Central. That's over on the SEC Network and the ESPN app. Great balance for Wisconsin, obviously with the defense. We've talked about the blocks. When you look at the kills, Orgel with eight, Franklin with eight, leading the way is Devin Robinson with 10 to go along with six blocks here tonight. She has been very impressive, both sides of the ball. We talk about her block, she's had six blocks and 10 kills. So really having a huge effect against Kentucky in this matchup. Wisconsin trying to quiet this loud Kentucky crowd. They hope it will be the loudest building they've played in front of one week from tonight. They'll be at the Kohl Center next Friday to host Florida. We were told today limited tickets remain, so they're hoping to be over 17,000 in attendance for a regular season game. The new record was set Wednesday in Omaha, 15,797 in the Nebraska Creighton five-setter. So they're going to try to pack the goal center and see if we can get over 17K for a regular season match for the first time in NCAA volleyball. Those are impressive numbers. I'd and I say. love the healthy competition between Nebraska <laughs> and Wisconsin for a number of fans to break that record. The national title match last December drew 18,755. That's number one in fan attendance all time. So Wisconsin played in front of that crowd, hoping to play in front of 17,000 plus Friday in Madison. Trying to put away Kentucky here, and they are rolling right now. They are the first to 20 here in set number three, looking for a sweep in Lexington. I am loving the passion of Gulce Guktek and the Libro for Wisconsin. She and Ashburn basically crashed digging that ball, but gave each other a big hug after the play since they won that point. Service error for Ashburn, so much needed point for Kentucky. Margin for error has been slim all night for Kentucky. It is razor thin right now. They cannot afford to make any mistakes against Wisconsin to try to stay in this match. Good serve by Rollins. And Hart gets the point for Wisconsin. Not sure how she was able to sneak that outside the block and into the middle of the court, but nice kill by Danielle Hart out of the middle for Wisconsin. You would expect to see Hart play a little bit more as we go along week to week for this Wisconsin team. Off the tape, Getzinger, they were ready for her this time. No stopping that swing, and guess who it is? It's Hart again. And you see after the defensive block by Hart and the kill, then she comes right back at the middle, and that's good confidence between setter hitter. 
you want that connection. And Danielle Hart working her way back into the lineup, working with her setter, Izzy Ashburn. Wisconsin forces Kentucky to use another timeout. 22-18 Badgers. So we talked about Florida-Wisconsin on the schedule next Friday. And we mentioned before, Kentucky and this gauntlet that they're running right now. And next up on their schedule after this weekend, a midweek in what has turned into a fantastic rivalry over the years, Kentucky against Louisville. Of course, Kentucky winning the national championship two seasons ago, Louisville making it to the national semifinal for the first time in program history. It will be 7 o'clock Eastern time Wednesday. That is a time change, and it will be on an ESPN network. All I know is it won't be on the Ocho, but it'll be on an ESPN network where you and will you're find be it. There. The, I, I, we're going to be back here in this building. Cool. So that will be a great one. Kentucky and Louisville. Louisville in a five setter on their home floor last year. Memorable match. They'll do it again on Wednesday. We'll take a look at what's on the schedule coming up on the. ESPN Family Networks talk about great rivalry matches. Florida State and Florida Tuesday night on ESPNU. Next weekend, Oregon making the trip to Coral Gables to take on Miami. We just talked about Louisville and Kentucky. Nebraska and Kentucky, you'll be here for that one. I will. I'm looking forward to it. And then we get into conference play. Missouri and Tennessee in the SEC. Kentucky is out of timeouts. They have one challenge remaining. Wisconsin on the overpass, close to putting this one away. No getting that one, and Wisconsin now two points away. Wisconsin is serving the ball extremely well. Right now, Kentucky in a three-person serve-receive. Orzo. Ashburn with the set to the middle, trying to feed Hart again. Fittingly, they go to Devin Robinson. She is just getting it done. She's so versatile, and it really shows. She makes some great decisions. Even though this ball is out of system, she gets her feet to the ball, works the inside of the block for the Wisconsin point. Match point, Wisconsin. The freshman, Melby. Taking it off the net. Kentucky's got it back. Grome to Robinson. That is in. Devin Robinson puts it away, and the defending national champions get a sweep in Lexington. This match was closer than it looks in terms of being a sweep, but Wisconsin served the ball extremely well and blocked really well to beat Kentucky here on their home floor. Devin Robinson outstanding all night long, 13 kills. She hit 323. She also had six blocks. And Really, that size, the defense, the blocks for for Wisconsin, big difference in this match. Yeah, it was too much, all right? If you're serving that well, getting the other team out of system, and then your block really takes over, and the size of Wisconsin defensively at the net was the difference. So Wisconsin improves to 4-1 and one on the season.